Hi, well I'm Camden Howlett from Sustainable Coastlines and I'm one of the crew here on our Te Tarafati East Coast Educational Roadshow. We've got five of us here. We've got uh, Sam Judd, myself, Caroline Larnick, Mitzi Boren and Camille Muti, um, three girls who are volunteers full-time at the moment, uh, spending a lot of time with us and helping us out a lot on, on this, um, this educational roadshow. So what we're doing is uh, we've been cruising from uh, Hicks Bay all the way down to where we are right now in Gisborne and uh, further down the coast we're heading to, to Wairoa and Mahia and we are talking with school students and community groups about uh, marine pollution, about litter and what its effects are on the marine environment. Um, we've also been running small beach cleanup events and we've been engaging as many of the small communities and, and the bigger ones along the way as we can to, to be better kaitiaki and, and to help us all look after our coastlines uh, in, a, in a good way. Trash will travel uh, throughout our ocean system so once trash reaches the sea that's, that's through our streams and waterways, through our storm drains and, uh, and by purely littering and dumping at the beach trash will make it into large ocean circulation systems so those are, are oceanic gyres and that will make it out into the middle of the, the, the South Pacific if it's dropped here in Gisborne um, and it will make it out into the places where people don't live it'll end up on islands like Easter Island, um, where we, we have seen um, evidence of, from, from scientists, large levels of pollution from, from foreign shores. Um, we do find that rubbish travels all through the ocean, so there can be rubbish on beaches, and there is rubbish on beaches where nobody lives. So it's a really interesting global problem that we're seeing locally here. What's being swept out to sea, it's really hard to know. We have had a lot of, of foul weather and, and big seas, so I imagine the stuff that we've picked off the beach is only a small proportion of, of what's been there. Um, as a comparison, a couple of years ago in January 2010, we picked up 12 tonnes of rubbish off the beaches along this same stretch of coastline. We're back here now and we're finding that the rubbish is, is still there. Um, we can't compare figures so well because that was one day we've been here for, for weeks and, and picking up rubbish. But we are we are seeing that stuff will, will be heading out to sea and uh, affecting the marine environment out there and we're finding fishing gear that's being washed in as well. So we've got the full sort of cycle of, of littering effects that we're seeing here on our beaches. Uh, we're finding a real, a real range of stuff. So we're finding um, stuff that's clearly being dumped. So that's your tyres, your, tires, your appliances, um, things like that. We're finding things that are being left at the beach. So that's clothing, uh, it's beach litter, it's food wrappers and things like that. And then we're finding stuff that's clearly uh, been moving through our stormwater system. So that's things that have been littered on streets and have made it down to the beach. And those are things like cigarette butts, uh, they're things like bottle caps, uh, straws, things like that. We're finding a real range, but we are finding more than we would like to think um, we have around here on these beaches. People all over the show can have a big impact on what we're seeing here. Just personal responsibility for our rubbish, uh, where it goes, and if we use rubbish in the first place. So creating rubbish, we can reduce our dependence on single-use plastics is the first thing. So we can use a supermarket bag again rather than getting a new one each time. We can refill a water bottle rather than buying a new bottle of water each time. And once we've got that rubbish, we can do a few things with it. We can not drop it on the street because we know that rubbish in our streets flows to the sea. Rubbish in our streams flows to the sea. The sea is downstream from everywhere. So personal responsibility is the, is the big one we're pushing, is, is personal uh, care for your rubbish, uh, putting it in a bin, disposing of it properly, or before that trying to reduce the amount of single-use plastics that we, we use. And that will reduce our dependency on plastic, will reduce what's in landfills, and reduce what we find on beaches and in the sea. So our next moves immediately are in the, in the short term future. We're heading tomorrow down to Mahia and Wairoa. We're holding cleanups on Monday and Tuesday uh, respectively there. So Monday uh, in Wairoa at uh, 2 p.m. I believe and Tuesday uh, in Mahia. So from there we'll sort of conclude our educational roadshow uh, here in the East Coast. Uh, head back to Auckland where our charity is based and continue on with, with clean-up activities. We've got some big plans for this coming summer. Clean-up events on uh, Auckland's Rangitoto Islands and in Wellington's uh, Harbour. Uh, those are events that we've done before and that we're repeating to, to see what the, the build-up of rubbish has been in one year. And those will be early December. Uh, from there, big extra summer events after Christmas. So we'll be just keeping continuing on what we do and what we love to do and talk, talk with school children throughout the country and run large-scale beach cleanup events. Um, we'll also be focusing 
uh, through the, the remainder of winter on some tree planting activities, so planting out the banks of rivers to, in the end, clean up our oceans. So riparian planting is one of our new focuses. So funding is always an issue for carrying out the type of work that we do do, and we, we are always looking for extra help to fund our, our work. It's work that we see as essential, it's work that allows us to work with school children and all members of the community, and it's work that ends up in results in cleaner beaches and safer beaches, and in the end, healthier Kaimoana and healthier seas. So it's something really, really excited about, but we, we do always need um, more help to, to fund our operations, and all help that we can get would be appreciated.